Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 311. That is, what is glass box testing? Let me answer. So what is glass box testing? Glass box testing is nothing but a method of software testing which tests the code and internal program structure of the software, okay? In case of glass box testing, Okay, we can test the software by using the or by testing the code and internal program structure of the software. Here we are not using the visual functionality of the software. Rather, we are directly testing the code and internal program structure of the software, guys. Okay, for example, if I am testing this software, okay, if as a software tester, if I am testing the software, am I using the code or internal program structure for testing here? No, visual appearance of the software is available here, but in case of glass box testing, this visual appearance won't be there. Rather, we can see the code, okay? The code written for building this application is visible. The program structure of the software, which is written for building the application is visible, okay? And by providing the inputs to such kind of code or internal program structure of the software and expecting the expected output, we are performing the testing and that is called as glass box testing. Okay, I'll show you a diagram here. Okay, glass box testing means whatever that is there inside the application. You see, this is not a glass box. It is a black box because I cannot see what code is written for building this application. Something is hidden from me, right? Only the visual interface I can see. But behind this background of this, the code that is written by the developers, the program structure, of the code that is written by developers is available, which is not visible for me. But in case of glass box testing, the code is visible, okay? If you put something inside a glass box, can you see that? Yes, right? If you put some application code inside a black box, you can see that. So here we pass some input to this application code since we can see it and access it and we'll get, when, when this particular program code runs, we'll get an output. If that is an expected output, then the test will pass like that guys. Like that if you are performing the testing, that is called as glass box testing, okay? This is too much of font size, let me reduce. So who performs generally, okay? In real time, in projects, who performs the glass box testing? Developers are the ones who are going to perform the glass box testing. There are other names for the glass box testing. What are the different names for glass box testing? Glass box testing can also be called as white box testing, clear box testing, transparent, many names are there. Transparent box testing, structural testing, code-based testing, open box testing, comprehensive testing. Okay, you can call this glass box testing as different names. And who performs this testing? Developers. Okay, developers are the one who can see the code, who can access the code, and who can test the code. Okay, and uh, that testing is called as glass box testing. Okay, testing the code or internal program structure of the software is called as glass box testing, guys. So coming to the different levels of software testing, we have different levels of software testing like unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance test testing. These are the four levels of software testing. In that, which types of, which levels of software testing falls into the glass box testing? First two levels, that is unit testing and integration testing, which are generally done by developers, where they can see the code, access the code, Okay, test the code, okay? So unit and integration levels of software testing are falls into the glass box testing. Opposite of the glass box testing is nothing but the black box where code is not visible. For example, if, you are, if I'm asking you to test this particular software where you can only see the visual functionality of the software, but uh, you, you cannot see the internal program structure of the code or internal code, that is called as black box, guys. okay? That is the opposite of the glass box, that is black box here. Testing performed using the visual functionality of the software without looking into the internal code implementer implementation or structure, okay, of the program or whatever it is, okay? That is black box, which is an opposite of the glass box testing. And coming to the four levels of uh, software testing, first two levels fall, fall into the glass box testing category, whereas the remaining two levels, that is system testing and acceptance testing or user acceptance testing falls into the black box testing, where testing will be done by looking at the visual functionality rather than having an access to the code. We don't have access to the code and we'll just test with the help of the visual appearing functionality of the software in system testing and acceptance testing. But in unit testing, integration testing, developers perform these two levels of testing by looking, accessing and testing the code, okay? So hope guys, you understood what is glass box testing in this session. 
So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.